Hey guys, and welcome to this video on the C programming language. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to create all the possible substrings out of a string. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to create a description for our program. So um, this program will print all of the possible uh, substrings of a word. And we will also calculate um, the number of substrings. Okay, so let me give you a few examples here. Let's say we have a, a word. Um, let's say it's a uh, cat. Right, so if we have cat, what's all the possible substrings? So I'm going to put here possible substrings. Well, the possible substrings would be CAT, um, CA, C, then maybe AT, um, A, and T. So how many substrings is that? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this has, I'm going to put number of substrings and a six. OK. And that goes for any um, three letter or three character word will always be six. There's actually a formula that we could use to calculate this. And the formula is the number of uh, the number of letters. So we'll just call it n. So n, I want to say n equals the number of letters. So here the formula to calculate um, the number of substrings where n equals the number of letters is n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So um, that's the formula there. And so what you can see here is the number of letters that we have is 3 here. So we get, from our example, 3 times 3 plus 1 divided by 2. And so this just gives us um, 3 times 4 divided by 2 which equals 12 divided by 2, which equals 6. OK. All right. So that's how we can calculate the uh, number of substrings that we have. And now what we want to do is go ahead and create this um, program. So first thing I'm going to do is include a few libraries. We're going to include stdo.h. And then we're going to include our string.h. And we're using this right here to, to use the string length function, strlen, to get the length of a string. So here the length of the string is 3. And so you can see what we will be doing with that length is uh, calculating the number. I'm sorry, calculating the yeah the number of substrings, and we're also going to use it for this uh, for all the possible substrings for printing all the possible substrings to the console. So now let's go ahead and create our main function, and we're going to return zero. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just put in our string. We'll call it string for now. And I'm going to set it equal to cat, just like what we have in our example. 
So the length of our string length is going to be equal to our uh, to whatever this function string length returns of the string that we're putting in. So this is just going to equal three because cat is three. I mean cat is three letters and we're going to need to loop through this. So I'm just going to create a few variables here. Okay, so let's first calculate um, the number of substrings. So I'm going to create an integer variable. I'm going to call it num substrings or substring. And it's going to equal the length. times um, our length plus 1, all of that divided by 2. OK, so I'm just, I'm just using this formula here. Instead of n, we're using length. And that's all. That's the only difference. OK, so that's going to tell us how many substrings we will have. Now, let's think about um, our substrings. I'm just going to copy this example here and make sure I put it in comments. OK, so let's take a look at each one row by row. Oh, get that A there and then the T. OK, so what we can tell right now is it looks like a loop, right? Um, the first loop has every combination that starts with the C. The second loop has uh, all the combinations that start with an A. And the third loop has all of the combinations that start with a T. OK, so. Uh, this loop runs three times, this loop runs two times, this loop runs one time. But there's three of them, right? One, two, three. So let's go ahead and um, start writing out our, our algorithm. So first we're going to say for i equals zero, this is going to run um, the length of our string. So now we're going to have one two, three. So it's going to run at least three times. But we need another loop within there. Um, we need uh, a loop that's going to run, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, one, two, one. Mm, we're going to need a, a loop, uh, another loop in here. So let's go ahead and do four. Uh, uh, for j equals 0, this loop is going to run. You know what? Before we do that, let me just show you guys what this loop kind of looks like. So I'm just going to print test and a new line. Obviously, it's just going to run test three times. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this. And you can see that it just runs test three times. OK. So now we're going to do another loop, right? From j equals 0, we want this loop to run uh, maybe, I'm still trying to think about this as I go, um, three times here, then 2, then 1, no. No, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to want it to run the first time three times, the next time two times, and the last time one time. OK, so this is going to run the length of our string minus i. And then j is going to increment by one each time. All 
All right, so let's see this, if this is true. Yes, so um, I is going to keep incrementing um, each time. So that's why the loop should get shorter and shorter. So let's go ahead and run this. Um, oh, I'm going to do a print statement here. For a new line. Okay, let's run this. Okay, so now you can see we get uh, test, 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 and then space, test, test, space, test. Alrighty. So it's starting to look like what we what we want here, but we actually want to print out the word, and um, we need to tell it where to start from so we want to first get all of the C's which would be uh, in that first loop and then all the A's would be in the second loop and all the T's would be in the third loop and this is the only loop that runs three times so we're going to use our next variable K and I'm going to set it equal to I Okay, and k is going to run the length of our, our, our inner loop here. So it's going to run from, uh, it's going to run while k is less than the length minus j. And then we're going to increment k by 1. Okay, let's do a print test. All oh, right, so I need to do another um, printing. I need to print a line here. All right. Oh, it's backslash in and not forward slash in. Okay, so now it's looking even better. So you can see it prints test. Uh, let's put some. Let's put a space in there. Actually, let's run it and make it look a little bit better. Okay, so now we can see that it's going to print. So if this test was C, it print C, and this it print A here, and then it print T here, then it print C here, A here, then it print C here, then it print A here and T here, and then A here, and then T here. All right, so it's kind of looking like uh, what we want for our substring. So now we need to actually print um, the string. So we're going to print character by character, just like what we have the test here. So uh, we're going to tell it to print, not test, but this time it's going to print percent %c. So it's going to print the character. And we have to tell it which character to print. Well, that's just the character k so um, we're going to print our string uh, we're going to print the string at position k or at index k and let's see if we get our uh, substrings and there we go so you can see c a t of course i have it lowercase here um, instead of capital but we get c a t c a c then we get a t a and t just like we want it and now to make it look um, exactly like my example I'm going to use capital letters okay perfect and now I kind of want to get rid of that uh, uh, get rid of those lines I'm sorry not the lines yeah the the next lines the new lines so let's see if this would do it yep so now you get C A T C A C A T A and T. All right, perfect. So let's um print all this now. Let's create a print statement. So print F. We're gonna say the number of substrings 
in the word percent s is percent d and then we're going to just do two new lines okay so now we're going to tell it what what's the word so you tell it the string and then we want the num the number of substrings which is the variable that we create up here and then we want to print the substrings are and then backslash in for a new line and then semicolon and here of course we will print all of the the possible substrings Okay, I'm going to go ahead and erase that. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. Just to make it look a little bit better. And let's run it. So now we get the number of substrings in the word cat is six. The substrings are, and they have all these substrings there. All right, so that's basically it guys i hope you really enjoyed this video i will be sure to put a link to this code um below in the description thanks as always for watching guys uh please leave likes and questions that you have about this i try my best to answer it for you uh be sure to share if you found this video helpful for you uh to your friends your family and again as always Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.